I'm Adam Gillette with Accuracy in Media. Today we are in Cooperstown, New York at Bassett Medical Center because Bassett has two students in residency from the pro-Hamas coalition at Columbia. Imagine showing up at a medical facility for treatment and learning that the physician treating you is a supporter of Hamas. Okay, so need you to no look problem. Okay. What is no, gonna happen with the students who are pro-Hamas? Were they, was it known when they were brought in? All right, we'll pull the vehicle out. We're getting the vehicle. Okay, so you're not in the vehicle. Our, I wish you had as much expediency to get the pro Hamas physicians out of your hospital. Where, where are you, who are you riding with? I'm walking right over there to the public road. We'll be here all day. So security asked us to leave. I hope they show just as much sense of urgency to get the pro Hamas physicians out of their hospital. How did you find out about this? How did, how did this all come about? So Columbia has a radical anti-Semitic pro-Hamas coalition of many different organizations, and they're overtly pro-Hamas, not pro-Palestine, pro-Hamas. And we noticed that two of the leaders of a group in that coalition were medical students, and they happened to be in residency here this semester. Oh, two of their students are involved. Yes. How would you feel being treated by a pro-Hamas physician? They're qualified, I see no problem with it. Would you want to be treated by a physician who is in the KKK or Al-Qaeda? One thing we keep hearing from locals in this community that's quite interesting to me is when I ask them, would you feel comfortable being treated by a pro-Hamas physician? They consistently say, well, as long as they're uh, a great physician and as long as they're qualified, it wouldn't bother me. And when I follow up and ask them, would you want to be treated by a physician who is part of the KKK burning crosses on lawns? Would you want to be treated by an Al-Qaeda physician? They say, well, I don't know. I guess I'd have to think about that. They can't draw the moral equivalence between Hamas and the KKK, between Hamas and Al-Qaeda, simply because many of them, for political reasons, dislike Netanyahu, to them, it makes them think that, well, I guess Hamas might not be totally bad. There are med students who post pro-Hamas, not pro-Palestine, but pro-Hamas. Yeah, what the they do. Do you think some people don't want to be treated by a pro-Hamas physician? I th well, I think that people who, have, who worry about that really have other things. They should have, they have other problems. Hamas is acceptable to you? No Hamas isn't acceptable, but neither is, is the Israeli genocide. Well, if you find any Israelis performing genocide who work in the hospital, you let us know. Yeah, no, well, I won't let you know anything because I'm sick and tired of Netanyahu and Israel and its genocide in Gaza. Well, if Netanyahu gets a job at the hospital, we'll be here the next day. Well, Netanyahu should go, should go drop in the ocean. For All Christ. right, have a nice day. Oh, yeah. I am very, very upset about this. I think you should, I'm going to talk to the chief of Bassett about who or what's your name? My name's Adam Gillette with Accuracy in Media. Isn't it terrible that they have pro-Hamas students? I beg your pardon. We're complicit in genocide of Palestinians. We are? Our country. Are. I didn't do any genocide, did you? You certainly do, you pay your taxes. You're paying your taxes to have us send billions of dollars over to Netanyahu who needs to be removed because he's corrupt. Do you support what happened on October 7th? I support not killing people. I agree. We not killing agreement. hostages, not killing yeah. you, not killing me. I completely agree. I'm a peace activist. You're here, I appreciate And that. I do not support driving around like this. I can't believe that you're doing this. Excuse me, I, I apologize for speaking to you out of out of enragement. Would you want to be treated by a doctor who boasted in support of the KKK or Al-Qaeda? If he's not the KKK, they're lynching me. Why not? I'm not asking him to be my best friend or my brother or my husband. Human beings have to be allowed to have their opinions. Our differences have to be tolerated. If these kids were out there bombing places in Hamas and killing people is one thing. If they are in America and having their opinion, please, please unite America. Stop dividing us. How are you doing? You should be ashamed of yourself. Is that what you'd say to the pro-Hamas physicians? No, I wouldn't say that to them. What would you say to them? Why would I say that to them? I think being pro-Hamas is morally reprehensible. You don't agree? You don't know what 
what they if there's if there's people over there like that and they're helping people get better and taking care of people you know there isn't all good and all bad those two students are med students from Columbia in residency this semester and their account their group social media account that they're leaders of is posting pro Hamas stuff and we have the details with the images up on their websites again you want to be pro Palestine that's fine you want to be anti-war, anti-Netanyahu? Go for it. But being pro-Hamas? I think Bassett deserves to know the kind of people they brought in. Well, this isn't a way to do it, though. What's the best way to do it? The best way to do it is not to have this truck. We got a good parking spot, so we're not blocking any traffic. Right in front of my house. Well, I'm glad we were able to give you a good-looking view. It's better than looking at me. No. I wouldn't say that. You're too Don't say that. Well, I don't know if the directors of this hospital knew when they brought on these Columbia Med students that they were pro-Hamas radicals, but they sure do now, as do members of this community. No one should have to worry about the physician treating them possibly being a pro-Hamas radical. If you want to take action right now, visit BassettAndHamas.com, where you can send one message that goes to all the directors of this hospital. Again, I'm Adam Gillette accuracy in media.